Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. Today I'm super excited because we're starting a new reading vlog series and I have been planning this for so long. So if you guys follow me over on TikTok, you will already know that I'm completely obsessed with the Ravenhood trilogy by Kate Stewart. Like, it's so good. It's so, so good. But you may also know that I only read Flock and Exodus because I was so emotionally traumatized after Exodus that I could never make it to the third and final book because I was too scared of what was going to happen. So I have decided that it is time. It is time to face the music. It is time to read the third book but I also want to refresh my memory for everything that happened in the first two. So we are doing a reading vlog series of the Ravenhood trilogy. Um, so for anyone who doesn't know, this trilogy consists of a flock, Exodus and the finish line. And basically it is a small town kind of vibe. We have enemies to lovers. We have a toucher and you die. We have some kind of criminal activity going on. We have emotional trauma, to be quite honest. It's it's really steamy and it's really 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 good and it's also one of those series that it kind of you never really know what's happening like it, it kind of leaves you feeling very confused with the first book still kind of confused in the second book and then it all kind of starts to wrap itself up so if you haven't read these yet and you do decide that you're going to read them and you read the first book and you're like what the fuck is going on don't worry it does all get like explained just stick with it. That's all I will say because that is the first, the, like the one criticism that I had with it when I first read it and I read Flock and I was like, I, d I don't know what's going on. Like, am I dumb? Like, am I too stupid to read this? Like, I don't understand what's happening. Don't panic. It all gets explained. But basically this series follows Cecilia. She is our main character. She has moved from Georgia where she lives with her mum to Triple Falls in North Carolina to go and spend the summer with her father. And she's super reluctant for this because her father's a bit of a douchebag. He's like super wealthy, owns this huge company and essentially has had nothing to do with her her whole life bar like a few summer visits. So she's really pissed that she has to go and spend the summer with him. But it is part of the like rules for her inheritance. That if she is going to inherit her shares in the company and if she's going to inherit the money that he's put aside for her she has to go and work for him for a year so she decides to go for that summer and basically starts working at his company um, and tries to kind of like amend the relationship that she has with him so that she can inherit the money and take it back to her mum and give them a better life. But obviously while she's there, she meets some of the locals, she encounters the Ravenhood boys and these guys are kind of like a bit shady to be honest, but you don't really understand why they're shady and you don't really understand why they do the things they do and the motivations behind them until a little bit later in the book. But this has been described as like, um, kind of like an erotic suspense trilogy. It's also been like loosely described as like a modern day interpretation of Robin Hood, if that kind of gives you guys any idea of what we're dealing with here. Um, and it is really, really, really good. Like I, I love it so much. So I'm so excited for you guys to come on this journey with me. I am actually filming this intro after having read all three books and honestly you guys like it was an emotional time it was a fantastic time i enjoyed every single second of it so i'm so excited for you to watch these vlogs and hopefully you will enjoy them too i've tried really really hard to keep these completely spoiler free i never give spoilers directly to the camera about what happens but there are some points of the books which are super emotional and you do see my raw reactions so if you don't want to have anything spoiled at all i do recommend reading the books before you watch these videos or reading along with the videos maybe. Um, but if you're not bothered or if you have read them before and you just wanna see my reactions to We Love Rainy Days, Don't We Baby, then please delve right in. Um, but we are gonna start with Flock where we are first introduced to Cecilia, we're first introduced to Sean and Dom, we're first introduced to Triple Falls and the Ravenhood Boys. So buckle up you guys, it is a wild ride. I really hope you enjoy. <laughs> Oh, that light is not the one. That's also not the one. Okay, there we go, this will do. I um, was reading and tabbing in the bath, obviously getting stuck into flock. Um, oh, look at my hair, that's too funny. Getting stuck into flock. Um, 
oh I forgot how like wonderful Kate Stewart's writing is like it's truly beautiful honestly I feel like I'm gonna have some real like moments revisiting this book because like the first time I read Flock I didn't like I didn't hate it but I wasn't obsessed and it was only reading Exodus which I almost didn't pick up and I can't believe that I nearly didn't pick up Exodus it was only after reading Exodus that I became like obsessed about this series so i feel like it's going to be nice to reread flock knowing what i know about exodus knowing how much i love the characters kind of having more of an idea of what's going to happen because i feel like firstly it's going to give me obviously just like a better insight into the plot for this book um and i feel like it's going to make me more engaged because obviously i'm so happy to see dom again my baby i'm excited i haven't had any like moments yet because i've literally only read the prologue but um just like being back in her writing was just a really nice moment and i've got a couple of tabs in there already highlighted a couple of passages there's a beautiful quote at the start of the book as well and it reminds me of dom so i was already just like super emotional before i read that I'm so excited to get properly stuck in. I will probably give you guys a reading update in a few hours because like I said, I've only read the prologue. Um, so I think, yeah, I'll maybe check in with you guys every few hours and give you kind of my thoughts, my feelings. And then obviously if I have any like major reactions at any point to anything, I will vlog. We just met Sean and Dom for the first time. Dom. I'm being so silly. I love that man so much. Um, I'm really enjoying this reread. I think I'm actually enjoying this reread more than I enjoyed my first time reading Flock. And I think it's obviously because like I have a better understanding of the family dynamic between Cecilia and her father. I have a better understanding of what's going on with the boys. Um, and I think I already kind of, you know, I'm aware of what's going to trigger me in this book. So I'm kind of enjoying it rather than like feeling triggered, which I definitely did on the first read um due to the family dynamics let's say ask me if i'm still feeling the same way in like a day's time when i'm reading exodus and i get to that particular scene and i will probably have a very different answer but right now right this second where we are at i'm really enjoying vlog so happy days um but i am going to stop for a little bit and play sims i think because i just have a craving and because i don't have to be up first thing tomorrow for work i am going to get into that craving because the problem with sims is that as soon as i start playing it i can't stop and i am playing it for like five hours so sims and maybe some gavin and stacy on the tv as well if i can get it to work while i'm on origin hey guys it's the next day so it's thursday's so the official first day of this four day weekend obviously last night i started a little early because you know i finished work and i was like well I'm off now for four days, so. Um, but I haven't actually done any reading yet today. I woke up super late, went and got coffee, came back, had lunch, and I actually went to the driving range to shoot some golf balls, or hit some golf balls rather. Came home, did dance practice, and now I'm settling down to read. So I just read a couple of pages. We've had the first two spicy scenes, so love that for us. Um, and I'm about to run a bath and I'm gonna sit and recline in the bath and read for a little while. But I had some books arrive today, so I thought I'd very quickly show you what I ordered. The first was The Confidence of Wildflowers by Michaelia Smeltzer. I have seen this book everywhere um, recently. This is really weird because it's like a self-published with like the matte cover, but it's super floppy, look at that. I love a floppy paperback. So yeah, I'm excited about this. This is like small town age gap romance. I'm very much in like small town romance mood at the minute because I just read um, Indigo Ridge by Devney Perry and loved it. Uh, I also have Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score on my TBR for this month. So it's a very small town romance month. And then the other book I bought specifically for going away, although it's super sad, so I don't know why I bought a really sad book for going away. But I bought Pack Up the Moon by Kristen Higgins. This one, again, I've seen a lot recently on like a book top and booktube and everyone says how unbelievably like sad it is. I read the back and it's about a woman who finds out she's dying and so she leaves her husband like a letter a month for a year to help him get over losing her and I'm like, oh my god, that's so sad. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take that away with me because apparently I want to torture myself when I go away. Um, so I need to figure out like what physical books I am going to take and I feel like that might be a job for this weekend because I'm actually going to start kind of putting aside the things I'm taking with me because I'm going in like a few weeks. Um, so yeah I might take that one in like a Colleen Hoover or something. 
I also bought some journaling stickers. So that's my haul for the day. Um, so I'm going to go run a bath and get a little bit further in to flock. And I will catch you guys up in a little bit, I guess. Hey friends, so wow, I, I'm not looking my best right now. It's late and I'm tired. I feel like when I do these reading vlogs, I don't really like sell myself particularly well because I don't normally look this haggard, but for some reason on every single reading vlog I post, I look a mess. Um, I'm gonna go with like unflattering lighting to be honest and the fact that I film these updates at like midnight, but whatever anyway i am halfway through flock well i'm actually over halfway i'm probably like 60 percent through flock i'm definitely enjoying it more than last time i actually um had a look at my goodreads rating for the last time i read it because i feel like my love affair with the ravenhood trilogy because i haven't actually read the last one i think i've already said that can't remember whatever my love for the ravenhood trilogy really was only cemented when i read exodus and was like oh, holy crap I didn't like Flock much the first time I read it and I feel like I had a very strange reading experience. I was just not engaged and I wasn't able to kind of read very often so I think it took me like over a week to read it and it's not a long book, it's like 300 pages. Um, it took me like over a week to read it and I just wasn't particularly engaged with what was happening because I was only able to read it in like little snippets here and there. Um, so I think that's why like I just rated it three stars whereas this time I'm like, why? Like I wouldn't say it's a five star read it's definitely like four star though i think um and i'm excited to get to exodus again like scared and excited <laughs> i'm wondering if i'm even gonna have the same like emotional connection to it this time though like i don't know we'll see i'll be kind of sad if i don't because i feel like i've hyped it up to myself so much since i read it in february that if i don't have that same reaction again i'm gonna be like my whole life is a lie like anyway um, I'm gonna go get stuck back into flock because I think this chapter is the one with both if you catch my drift that's all I'm gonna say that's all I'm gonna say um so I really want to read that before I go to sleep and then I'm gonna crash tomorrow I'm hoping I can read a bit more because today's been quite like a bitty day like I woke up late I got coffee I got food then I went to the driving range then I ended up watching loads of jubilee stuff and then I had to like do dance practice and I just basically barely really picked this up um only really like in the bath and like for an hour downstairs so um yeah I'm gonna read for an hour or so now and then tomorrow I'm hoping I can get a lot more reading done I need to go out in the morning so I'm gonna go and get my nails done and then um when I come back I have some sorting and tidying to do I'm hoping that's only gonna take like an hour or so and I can spend the rest of my time reading the scene with both. This hits so much better the second time around, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> I am living my best life right now. Hey friends, it's Friday feels like Sunday and I still have Saturday and Sunday to go. This is just this is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Bloody love platy tubes. Um, anyway, I am reading Flock. I am a little bit further in, much. I'm a lot further in now. I've only got a tiny little bit left to go, so I will definitely finish this today. I've been tabbing quite a lot as well, as you guys can see. Definitely loving this reread more than I loved reading it the first time. I think I said that to you guys last night, like the first time I read it, it was a three star. This time it's definitely, I think, a four star territory. I'm still finding bits of it as confusing as I did the first time I read it though. In particular, all of the kinds of um, hints at what it is the boys are doing and what the Ravenhood actually is. I found it so confusing the first time I read it and honestly I'm still so confused now about what happened or not what happened sorry about what they do and this is like my second read obviously a flop and this is having read Exodus as well and I'm still like yeah I don't fully understand these guys but I'm enjoying it more and I feel less slightly less confused than I did the first time like I've just read Sean's um explanation to Cecilia and it, I wouldn't say it made sense but also it wasn't like as completely baffling 
as the first time so that's something um but i think i'm gonna read one more chapter and then i have to do a little bit of sorting out and then i really do need to tidy but i think i'm gonna do that tomorrow in favor of reading some more of flock and trying to finish this today and then i also need to edit some videos because i'm so behind on my upload schedule um so yeah that is my plan also guys i did the impossible today i went into waterstones and i didn't buy anything so round of applause for me thanks guys i i forgot about the scene where cecilia finds the books on dom's bookshelf oh my god my poor fragile heart cannot handle this honestly I love that man so much. Oh my god, this book is going to be the death of me. Well, actually, no, this book isn't but Exodus. Exodus is going to be the death of me. So I just got out of the bath, hence how red I am. And I'm going to have to take a break from Flock for a minute because I'm just so pissed off. I totally forgot for a lot of this book how much i hate sean and then there's just been like little snippets that have reminded me why um so most recently would have been chapter 34 i think uh, he's just a fucking gaslighting asshole like i'm just sick of the way that he either gaslights her constantly or completely invalidates her feelings like in every single situation i don't want to give any spoilers so I'm not going to. But this situation in particular, like, I understand that he thinks what he is doing is very important and it is important to him and everything else. But when somebody goes out of their way to do what she did for him that day and he just shits all over it, she's perfectly within her right to feel upset about that and to feel angry at him for that. And it's not invalidating you know what he's done it's just also asking for a little bit of respect and a little bit of like recognition and his reaction to that has just made me so unbelievably angry like dom's an asshole but he's been an asshole and he's been straight up from it from the beginning you know he's not like trying to make out that he's a nice guy and then gaslighting he's just a prick but he's always been a prick so he's upfront about it and you know that from the get-go Whereas with Sean, it's very much like, oh, I'm going to masquerade as this really nice guy, but actually I'm going to manipulate you and get into your head. Don't fucking like him. Really don't like him. And also he shares a name with three of my ex-boyfriends. Yes, I have dated three people called Sean. So. Yeah. Okay, guys. So we have finished, or I have finished, Flock definitely a four stars this time i certainly enjoyed it a lot more than i did the first time i read it probably because i already knew like the triggering element so it wasn't it didn't send me into like a weird headspace like i did the first time and then also as i said in my clip earlier whenever that was my reading experience has obviously been a lot different this time in that i've been able to actually sit down and pay the book attention rather than kind of having to pick it up and put it downloads and you know only getting 10 minutes here and there to read so yeah definitely a four star experience lots of it i loved lots of it made me really mad but I didn't hate the book I just hated the character which as you guys know I hate Sean and I'm not ashamed to say it I will stand by that opinion I think he's a prick um but I tabbed it a whole bunch so yeah look at that and I actually unintentionally aesthetically matched my tabs to the book so love that for me um but yeah I really enjoyed it I think the concept of the Ravenhood is really interesting and the more you read, the less confused you get. And obviously I'm saying this especially from like second time around because the first time I definitely was like super confused. Um, this time less so. I feel like, you know, reading it the first time gave me more of a grounding in it. So obviously I knew, you know, what was coming um, and I understood a little bit more of their motivations. I still felt very confused at times during Flock and I think it's because you're so like entrenched in Cecilia's mindset and in what Cecilia is currently experiencing that you're also kind of experiencing the constant like frustrations that come with the fact that Sean and Dom are not answering any of her questions and just leaving her in the dark and asking them to trust them but not really giving her any reason to trust them you know um there's definitely elements of this book that are triggering 
for example like the gaslighting the kind of mental manipulation that kind of thing is really really triggering um so definitely make sure you look up all the content warnings because a lot of this book is shady there are very morally gray characters in this and it is one of those kind of like erotic suspense novels where you're not gonna like the main character they will do really questionable things um i mean these guys are doing questionable things in the name of the great good but ultimately i don't know yeah I did really enjoy it though, I'm really excited to get stuck into Exodus. Um, I think what I might do is, after I read the finish line in my third Ravenhood vlog, is give kind of like a more like overarching kind of um, wrap up on my thoughts of the whole trilogy as a whole because like I've said before I've read the first two but I've never read the finish line because Exodus emotionally broke me too much and I couldn't actually bear to pick up the finish line so this is going to be really interesting. Um, I am going to start Exodus in a little bit but I'm going to start it on um, a new vlog so you guys will have to tune into the next Ravenhood vlog to see that and to see me get emotionally obliterated by a book um but yeah i really hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog like i've tried to keep it as spoiler free as possible if you are interested in reading these books they are usually on kindle unlimited as well as available on amazon um to buy in paperback so i definitely recommend picking them up especially you know if you're not sure you're going to like them and you don't want to make that investment into the paperbacks i read the first two on kindle unlimited before i bought the books so um, yeah, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the vlog. If you have, give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in my next vlog very soon. Bye, guys.